Mark was your typical boy, I would say. He could get away with things with me <laughs> because he he had that that impishness in him. He was, you know, he he was a charmer. I guess that's the word I'm looking for. Um, he was kind though too. He um, he loved children, and he always looked out for kids. So in that way, he was he was kind-hearted. But he was he was. I'm not saying he was an angel because he he got into some mischief. You know, he was a boy. Mark's full name is Mark Richard Vecchioni. Uh, he was born um, January 11th, 1981, and he was born and raised on in East Ham on Cape Cod. He was killed July 18th, 2006, in Ramadi, Iraq, um, by by an IED, which is improvised explosive device. So, in other words, he was blown up by a bomb. He was a tanker, and he figured he would he would be you know a tank driver, and he'd be saving the tank. I would love to get together with some of his army buddies just to hear how he was as a I've heard stories from some of them that he was a soldier soldier and that he he would do anything for any of them and so I sit back and I you know I I smile and say well he turned out to the man to be the man that I was hoping that he would be sometimes I I see him you know as a little boy <laughs> Well, I see other people that may look like him, same mannerisms. So I just, I just look back, and it, and it's hard because you you want to always remember them the way they were. Mark will be forever young. He was 25 when he was killed. When I come down here to the beach, I just remember him as a child playing. You know, so I try to. Just remember the happy times, but I also miss what could have been. I just don't want him to be ever forgotten. That's the hardest thing for anybody that who has lost a child. Not just because he was a soldier, not just because he was the first soldier on the Cape to die in Iraq. Remember that today they can get up and relax because of soldiers like Mark and like all the others that have fought and are fighting for our freedoms. I don't want him to be to have died in vain. You know, it's it I know this is a very long war and and it's wearing on people and they just have to support our troops.